Father's Day. Day. Hello, my name is Chris Shelton. And I'm Parisa Shelton. And we thought we'd give a shout out and an ode to mothers. We love you, Mom. We love you, Mom. We take it for granted a lot of times, but being a mother is a lot of work, especially for you single mothers out there. I know this because I was a single father for many years, trying to balance out taking care of the kids, homework, school, making dinner, doing laundry, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So it's a challenging job, and so if you're a mother out there, especially a single mother too, we want to give you a shout out. Because of you, life exists. So thank you so much. What do you like to say, Mom? I just would like to say that mothering can come in all shapes, forms, and sizes, and every person on this planet, of course, has a mother and has a very unique and special relationship with their mothers. Whether you have a close relationship with your mother or your mother is in her skin or not in the skin, each one of us owes a sense of gratitude to our moms in order for bringing our life to the place of where we are today. Yes, so this feminine nurturing yin energy is what we need a lot of times, especially as men, we search out and seek for that yang energy, all that strength, but it's really, if you want to look for power, it's really in that subtle yin energy, the softness and that nurturing that the feminine energy brings about. And so for us men out there on this Mother's Day, as we give an ode to our mothers, it's also very important for us, I think, as well, too, to really take a look inward and really look at our feminine natures as well, too, because it's a combination. We still have our, our we still need to have our masculinity, but at the same time, too, we need to be able to tap into that feminine, soft, nurturing side as well. So it's this interdependency of our relationships with ourselves and our family members, including our mothers, that helps to bring harmony, especially inside the home and around the world. So I thought what we'd do is a very quick centered balancing meditation. I thought a consciousness meditation would be really good to open up our hearts and to just, as we're going through this meditation, to really pause and take a moment. And if your mother is, like what Priest was saying, is no longer with us in this physical realm, like my mother passed away 19 years ago on Cinco de Mayo, um, <clears throat> this is just to give a shout out to them and thanking them for bringing us into this world and giving us a gift. So even if maybe some mothers aren't the best mothers, or, uh, you know, there's a saying that you know some mothers should not be mothers, and that's really the truth. But the gifts that are given from that as a, as an individual is huge because each soul has its own journey, and part of that journey is to learn and to grow. And so if you had to eat bitter as a young child um, because maybe your mother wasn't around or maybe it wasn't the type of mom that you thought you should have you know this is all part of our learning so we still have to give thanks and gratitude for once again for bringing us into this world and giving us those gifts so because it is our obstacles that help increase resiliency and helps us expand and grow so we're going to start off here with our feet out about shoulders width apart and our toes are going to be pointed slightly straight ahead and our knees are going to be slightly unlocked and our sacrum will be tucked underneath pressing back the ming min which is the acupuncture point right opposite the belly button now the tip of the tongue is on the roof of the mouth behind the teeth as if saying the letter n and our breath is long steady even and deep into the lower abdomen so with our eyes gently closed we feel the breath of life come in as we inhale, you feel yourself becoming more calm. And as you exhale, becoming more and more relaxed. So feeling this warm oil that begins to trickle down through the front, back, left, and right sides of the body. Increasing our consciousness and our awareness. And taking this moment to give a special Thank you, acknowledgement to mothers around the world. We feel this warm oil as it begins to flow down through the forehead, the brow bone, eyebrows, and eyes, through the nose, the cheeks, the front of the face, the ears, behind the ears, the base of the skull, down through the back of the neck, the chin and jaw structure, the front of the throat, enveloping the entire shoulder girdle, the upper chest, the upper back. Feel as this warm oil flows through the bicep, triceps, and the elbows, flowing down through the forearms, through the wrists, the palms of the hands, the 
the back of the hands leading all the way out to the fingertips. And from here, enveloping the upper chest, the upper back, the mid chest, the ribs, the flanks of the body, feel all tissues relax. Flowing down through the low back, the abdomen, through the waist, through the groin, through the thighs, the buttocks, the hamstrings. Enveloping through the knees, the front and back of the knees, the shins and calves, the ankles and feet and toes, all connecting and allow for this warm oil to flow down deep into the ground. And just take a moment to feel the front, the back, the left and right sides of the body from head to toe. Feel what's there. Allow your feet to melt deep into the earth. Like you're standing on a sea, a liquid energy comes up on the height of the ankles. Imagine roots growing out from bubbling well points. And from here, we're going to imagine a white light that begins to penetrate through the brain, the surrounding tissues, the skull, the inner ear. jaw structure, flowing down through each vertebra to the center of the neck and throat. Visualize and feel as this white light touches every bone, every connective tissue of the shoulder girl. Now flowing through the center of the biceps, triceps, and through the elbows, the forearms, the wrists, the hands and fingers. Allow for the white light now to penetrate and touch every rib. Feel as the ribs wrap around to the spine on the back. You feel the scapula, the shoulder blades. You feel the lungs fill up with white light, the bronchial tubes, the heart, the arteries, the blood vessels, the liver and gallbladder on the right side of the body, the stomach and spleen on the left, the intestines, the urinary bladder, the kidneys, the pelvic bone, the bladder, the bones of the legs, the muscles surrounding them, Allow for the white light to penetrate down through the center of the knees, the center of the shins, calves, ankles, feet, and toes. And once again, allow for this white light to flow down deep into the ground. And now just visualize the entire center core of your being with white light. And as this brilliant white light illuminates and shines like a white phosphorus flare, in our heart centers, we feel the pounding and gentle rhythm of our hearts as it emanates beautiful red light of energy from the center of our chest, extending outwards, and feeling the love and the gratitude for all mothers out there. Feel the love, the compassion, the support as this brilliant red light of energy shines from the chest. Now sending that love around the world. The appreciation. And finally, a sense of gratitude. And then from here, coming back to the middle, coming back to your center, and just finish off by pulling down the heavens one time. Inhale. Wow, that was nice. I feel so relaxed and so grateful for all the moms there. And I just wanted to real quick share a quote from Mother Teresa, who helped so many people 
in such a vast way. And what she says is that people are often unreasonable and self-centered. Forgive them anyway. If you are kind, people may accuse you of ulterior motives. Be kind anyway. If you are successful, you will win some false friends and some true enemies. Succeed anyway. If you are honest, people may cheat you. Be honest anyway. What you spend years building, someone could destroy overnight. Build anyway. If you find serenity and happiness, they may be jealous. Be happy anyway. The good you do today, people will often forget tomorrow. Do good anyway. Give the world your best you have, and it will never be enough. Give your best anyway. You see, in the final analysis between you and God, it was never between you and them anyway. So on this Mother's Day, we just want to extend a token of gratitude to all the ladies and all the fellas out there who support and sustain the life of humanity. So in summary, once again, from our home to yours and our heart to yours, all the mothers out there, we send your love and our gratitude and hope that you have a blessed Mother's Day and we will see you later. We love you.